Hey, POCC family, thanks for giving us a moment of your time today. And again, God's doing great things with our church. A lot of our snowbirds are back up north now. we got a couple hanging around here, and we're excited that they're still with us. And uh, God provided uh, 219 people over the weekend coming to worship with us. So we're excited about the continued growth that we see here. We give all glory and honor to God for that. We also have reason to be excited this week as our new student pastor will start on Monday of this next week. His name is Sean Lynch, and we hope that you'll be praying for he and his wife, Rebecca, as they get ready to move up here this weekend. In fact, they're planning on coming up on Saturday, and they could use a little help. So if you've got some time on Saturday, about 3 o'clock, I'll give you the address here. It is 311 Riverside Drive, apartment 215, and that's in South Daytona. It's all down here at the bottom of the screen as well. If you have a few moments on Saturday around 3 o'clock, you'd like to meet us at that address, and we're going to help them move into their apartment. It is on the second floor, just so you're aware, uh, but we'd love to have the extra help if you have the time to do so and be able to meet Sean and his wife, Rebecca. A couple of weeks ago, we began our Starting Point ministry, and that's a four-week group that meets on Sunday mornings after our 11 o'clock service. We took a break this last Sunday because obviously Ray and Pam Trantan were here, and man, they did a great job all weekend with the breakfast and preaching and hanging out with our youth group on Sunday night. And so we want to just continue to pray for them as they continue moving on and doing the things that they need to do in their ministry. But this coming Sunday, we're going to be getting back into day number two of Starting Point. And so if you didn't get to come during the first week and you'd like to join this group, the next group won't start until September. And so if you'd like to get in on this group, please make plans to come this coming Sunday. There will be lunch provided. We'd love to have you be a part of this following our 11 o'clock worship service. We're going to give our Kids Beach kids enough time to find mom and dad before we go back there to the Kids Beach double room. And then we'll begin our Starting Point group on Sunday. Our weekend full of worship services start on Thursday, and so we would love to have you be a part of our traditional worship service this Thursday morning at 1030. John Johnson's going to be preaching for us, and, and following the service on Thursday, we'll have our third Thursday potluck lunch. We would love for you to bring enough for yourself and a few others to be able to share. We'll have a great time uh, fellowshipping together after worship on Thursday morning. And then on Sunday, we're going to jump back into the story of the church message series. This week, we're going to be talking about Paul's mission uh, coming off the hills of last week. What a great time for that all to come together. We're going to be looking into a section of Acts from Acts chapters 13 through 20, and we're going to look into some of the letters that Paul wrote to the churches. In fact, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, he kind of starts off you know, with general greetings, but then in verse 4, he says this, he says, I always thank my God for you and for the gracious gifts he has given you now that you belong to Christ Jesus. Through him, God has enriched your church in every way with all of your eloquent words and all of your knowledge. This confirms that what I told you about Christ is true. Now you have every spiritual gift you need as you eagerly wait for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you strong to the end so that you will be free from all blame on the day when our Lord Jesus Christ returns. God will do this for he is faithful to do what he says and he has invited you into partnership with his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And that's part of our job as a church is to continue doing what what Christ would want us to do. He is the head of the church. And so we're gonna continue to lean on his leading and his guidance. So we look forward to jumping into this message on Sunday and seeing how God took this man that was once killing Christians just because of the fact that they were Christians, turned him into the apostle Paul and all the things that he then went on to do as an apostle. So we hope that you'll be with us uh, on Sunday. If you can be with us on Thursday, that's great as well. And we hope that you'll continue to keep in touch with us through our email addresses, our general email address at info at pocc.faith. And if you got care and prayer needs, that's care at pocc.faith. And we want to make sure to stay on top of all those things. We don't want anybody to fall through the cracks. So make sure to keep us updated. If you're not getting our prayer list, send an email to that care at pocc.faith and we'll make sure you're on our prayer list that comes out. Uh, most of the time comes out weekly on Mondays or Tuesdays and be able to stay on top of praying for people in our church. We'd love for you to be a part of that ministry. We hope you'll have a great week in the Lord and I look forward to seeing you at some point this week.